live from the game show capital on YouTube, MVG Productions. It's time for the all new Cash Money Letter Perfect Game Show. This is Caesar's Challenge. And now your host, Brandon Scrub. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Wonderful audience is always here. Glad to have you folks at film with us here on another fantastic episode of Caesar's Challenge. Welcome in as we welcome in our three contestants that are ready to play our game and possibly one of them walk out of here with a new car. So let's meet our contestants now, starting with our returning champion who won his first game of the season last week and comes back to us now with a very respectable one game total of $45,800. Please welcome back Mr. Nell Snezrud. Hello. Nell's a very tough, fought-out game in uh, last week here, and you managed to walk away with the brand new car right off your first time here. You think yes. you get, you think you can do it again here tonight? We'll see. Uh, we'll you'll see what happens here. You got some tough competition up against you, so we'll see how well you do as you go for your second win on the season tonight. Yep. So best of luck to you. Let's meet your two players that'll be playing against you here. Starting in the second seat there, we have Mr. Adam Oliver. Adam, welcome back. Thank you. And first chance to getting to play uh, Caesars Challenge, I believe, this season, if I remember correctly. So, Adam, tell the folks at home a little about yourself. I am 37 years old. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and for a living, I am a sporting goods store sales associate, and I'm a fan of sports, movies, game shows, and video games. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, hopefully a lot of that knowledge from those fields will help you out in our game here today. Good luck to you. And good luck to our third contestant here playing with us. It's Eagles Peach. Hello, Brandon. Long time no see, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a few episodes since you were on. Actually, if I remember correctly, we're on just about a few episodes back getting your first chance um, yeah. to pick up uh, when this season. Actually, no. Um... Actually, I think this is your third attempt, I believe, maybe for the season. I have to go back that and look at the record. Might be right. I'm pretty sure I've played a couple times before in the season. Yep. Um, played valiantly, just unfortunately not able to uh, pick up the wins you want to. But maybe today's the day. Who knows? We can see what happens here. Um, I sure hope so. Remind the folks at home a little bit about you. Okay. Well, I'm your resident squid human hybrid from Prior Lake, Minnesota. I work in the finance department at my tiny casino. <laughs> I just turned 26 a couple days ago, so I got that going for me, too. Well, happy belated birthday to you. Yeah, happy belated birthday, people. <coughs> just fair warning, I feel very much like I'm 16, even though. As long as you're not like Taylor Swift and thinking that you're 22, I can live with that at this point. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> But nevertheless, good luck to all three of our contestants here as we play our game of Caesar's Challenge. Of course, the objective here is simply solve, unscramble some words and try to solve what they are to earn cash. We'll play through three rounds of our game, and whoever has the most cash in their bank at the end of our third round wins our game and goes on to part, play Caesar's Challenge for a shot at a brand new car. So a lot up for grabs here tonight. So let's get started off with our first round of play. Every toss-up question, again, is worth $100. Every letter that you misplaced in the word when you solve it will net you an additional $100. And we'll be dealing with seven-letter words here in our first one. Comes your way right now. There it is. And our lucky slot, slot number five, you get the letter that falls in the correct slot and solve it, is worth $500 more. And we'll add 500 to it for every word that it's not captured on. So. Good luck to three good players as we start this game of Caesar's Challenge with this first question. Keys, umbrellas, or mittens? What did the three little kittens do? Peach? Mittens. Three little kittens lost their mittens. You're right, sir. Oh, Lord. You're on the board first with $100. Go ahead and choose a letter. O, please. The O. Drops in our lucky slot for $500. What's the word? Awesome. Awesome is correct. You got it. What's awesome? Awesome. <laughs> there we go. Well done, Peach. 
Just like that, you're out to the early lead of twelve hundred dollars. All right, let's take a look at our next seven letter word. It is, and lucky slot this time. Slot five again. Back again, worth five hundred dollars. Here's your next question. Colonial dance craze, automobile fossil, or site of the pilgrims landing. What is better known as Plymouth? Nels. The Pilgrim's Landing? Known as Plymouth Rock. The Pilgrim's Landing yeah. is correct. Okay. Good job there. $100 for you. Go ahead and choose a letter. The U, please. Letter U. Nice. But for 500 more, penguin? what's the word? Penguin? Penguin is correct. You got it. Get out for me. <laughs> Some days the machine can be very nice to our players, and it was very nice to Nels right there with a yeah, with a very easy solve there. <laughs> well done, Nels. Twelve hundred for you. You and Peter tied with the lead. Adam still yet to get on the board, but still very early in our game. We'll go ahead and pause for the cause and take our first commercial break. We'll come back with some eight little words and some more money to give away right here on Caesar's Challenge. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. I <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Caesar's Challenge here. As we look at our scores early on in this round, Nels and Peach are both tied with $1,200. Adam yet to get on the board, but Adam can easily catch up here as we go into round two. Every question is now worth $200. Every letter misplaced in the word when you solve it will net you an additional $200 as well. And we'll deal with eight letter words, starting with this first one now. There it is. And lucky slot. Slot four again for $500 on this one. Here's your next question Locust, badgers, or sheep? The collective term flock refers to peach. Sheep. What group of animals? Sheep is correct. Very good. Yay. 200 more for you up to 1400. Choose a letter. Uh, let's go for the P, please. The P. Fair Lucky you. slot. <laughs> okay. For 500 more, what's the word? Oh my gosh. Time. I don't know this. It's all right. Lucky slot will go on to the next word. Here is your next question Stratego, Battleship. Or war. In what game is the object to win all of your opponent's cards? Peach. War. Opponent's cards. War is correct, sir. Well done. A game with Peach. Another two hundred dollars for you. Go ahead and choose the letter. Um, let's go with the S. Letter S. Five seconds. Time. Robbing a bank, starting a conversation, or scoring a goal in hockey. Which of the following are you doing when you break the ice? Peach. Starting a conversation. That is correct. Very good. Another 200 for you. <laughs> to 1,800. Go ahead and choose a letter. Um, let's try the L, please. The L. Five seconds. Time. What is okay. this? Oh, Pete, you go. You go. Right. You go. Yeah, I know. I know. You know. Next question, guys. Cellophane, skies, or cell phones? The word celestial means relate. <laughs> Nels. Skies. Means of or relating to what? Skies is the correct answer. You got it. <laughs> Two hundred for you. Up to fourteen hundred. Go ahead and choose a letter. H, please. Letter H. Five seconds. Hospital. Hospital is correct. You got it. Very good, sir. More money for you and your bank. And that puts you into the lead now with $2,200. All right. Still plenty of time left. And we have another word here in round number two. Let's take a look at it now. 
is. And lucky slot this time is slot three. Now worth $1,000 on this one. Here comes your next question. Fire Lane, Nathan Lane, or Dury Lane? According to the rhyme, where did the muffin man... Peach? Drury Lane. Yeah, I said it wrong initially. Drury Lane is the correct answer. You got it. <laughs> yes, the muffin man who lives on Drury Lane. You're right, sir. $200 more for you. Go ahead and choose a letter. Uh, let's try the D. The D. Oh, for so lucky slot. <laughs> for a thousand more, what's the word? Ordinary. Ordinary is correct. You got it. Very good. Big yeah, big score for Peach right there. Brings him the lead now with $4,400. Well done. All right. Oh, my God. End of our second round. Peach has 4400 Nels has 2200 and Adam yet to get on the board, but Adam can still catch up right in this game. But before we move into round number three, let's talk about the car we're playing for today. Feel like you're in high society in your brand new BMW 2 Series Sport. It comes with standard features including 18-inch alloy wheels, 335 horsepower turbocharged engine, eight-speed automatic transmission, fabric-protected interior, and deluxe infotainment system. It's the BMW 2 Series Sport. And of course, that car can go to one of our three players who are able to solve Caesar's challenge today. But we'll see who it's going to be after we play round three, which starts with this first nine-letter word. There it is. And lucky slot is slot number three here. So again, back to $500 here. Here's your first question in round three. President Kennedy's death, stock market crash, or shortest of therapists? What event ushered in the Great Depression? Peach. Stock market crash. The stock market crash is correct. Very good. $300 for you, up to $4,700. Go ahead and choose the letter. Let's try the C. Letter C. Five seconds. Caribbean. Caribbean is correct. You got it. Well, no. done. well done, sir. That gets you up to $7,100 there. Has the lead for now. But we still got time on the old clock here, so let's continue on with our next nine-letter word. And lucky slot this time, slot four, worth $1,000 now in the lucky slot jackpot. Here is your next question. Stickler, stripper, or streaker? Which of these is a person who runs naked? Peach. Uh, streaker? Naked through a public place. First off, who put that question in my stack? Second of all, you are correct. Hello, this is Caesar's challenge. Yeah, and apparently you got to know a little bit about everything here in this case. So that's the case. But well done. Peach, 300 more for you. Brings you up to 7,400. Go ahead and choose a letter. I'm just saying, this isn't Carrot Top. Uh, G. The G. Five seconds. No. Yeah, it's time. All right. A can of beans, the door, or a box? According to the myth, what did Pandora open? Nels. A box? A box is correct. Very good. Okay. Another 300 for you, up to 2,500. Go ahead and choose the letter. The first R. The first R, right? Five seconds. Nothing. It's time. Right? Market. Barn or valley? What is Adele and the farmer in the Nels? Oh. Farmer. God. What was that answer? Farmer. No, I'm sorry. I'll finish the question for Adam and Peach there. What is Adele and the farmer in the Dell? Peach. A market? 
No, I'm sorry. It's not a market. The correct answer there is actually Valley. So, Adam, by default, you get the money. There we go. Thing will do happen. Yep, Adam is on the board. You've got three hundred dollars, sir. Go ahead and choose a letter. Mm, I'll take the N. All right, letter N. Five seconds. Um, I don't see it. That's time. All right, rubber coupe, elastic sedan, or stretch limo. Peach. Ah, stretch limo. What is the popular name for a luxury car which has been lengthened for more room? A stretch limo is correct. Oh, you kidding me? Rubber coupe. Yep, he took a shot at it and got it right there. So well done, Peach. Another 300 for you. Go ahead and choose a letter. Let's try the first E. The first E, all right. Five seconds. Generator. Generator is correct. You got it. Well done, sir. Money goes to your account there. You're up to $9,200. Still time left on the clock here, so let's go ahead and take a look at our next nine-letter word. There it is. And lucky slot this time is slot number eight, worth $1,500 on this one. Here's your next question. A fence, a candlestick, or the moon? What did Jack be nimble jump over? Else, Candlestick. Candlestick is correct. Very good. Done, Nels. 300 more for you. Go ahead and choose a letter. Let's go the P, please. Letter P. Five seconds. Premier? No, I'm sorry. It's not Premier. As incorrect, we'll continue on. This next question. Cheerios, pineapples, or Viagra. For which of the following products has Bob Dole been a spokesman? Peach. <laughs> I'm going to just take a shot in the dark. Viagra. Viagra is a correct answer. You got it. <laughs> Are you no? <laughs> this is a Are true statement. He, he, was a, he was a spokesman for Viagra early on in the pills creation and whatnot. So well done, sir. 300 more for you. Put you at $9,500. Go ahead and choose a letter. Let's try the first E. The first E. All right. Five seconds. Perimeter. Perimeter is correct. You got it. Well done, Peach. More money up there. You got $11,600 for Peach now with still time left on the clock. So we'll continue on with our next nine-letter word. There it is. And there's not much time left because we're almost out. So we're going to jump straight into speed word players. In a moment, we'll start putting the letters one at a time into place. Buzz in as soon as you think you know it. If you're right, you'll get the remaining money left for the word. If you're wrong, your opponents will have a chance to steal it from you. So good luck as we begin the speed word now. Adam. Am amphibian. Amphibian yeah. is correct. You got it. Well done, and that's going to give you the money, but not going to be enough. Peach is our new champion today with $11,600. Valiant effort by all three of our players here. Played well, but Peach took off, ran away with it, and didn't look back at the point. So we'll talk to you again here in a minute. Um, we'll start with Adam first. Adam, you came on very late in the game, but you at least solved the uh, one word up there and got some money for it. Did you have a good time with it? Yeah, I was against the against the uh, what was it? Like probably one of the juggers. No, so yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to say when you got to be quick on that buzzer against folks here. So, but that's the case in our game here. But you're not going home empty-handed. You finished in third place today, so we got you $500 courtesy of Caesar. And our thanks for playing. <laughs> and for you, Nels, unfortunately, your championship reign fell real short here. But yeah. did, you did you have fun with us? 
I I did. I did. Well, you just walk walk away your head held high, knowing that you did pick up a car and you finished in second place. So that's another thousand dollars on the day, which means you'll leave us here on Caesar's Challenge with a grand total today of forty six thousand eight hundred dollars, sir. And our thanks for playing. Oh, thank you. And I'll be back for you. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know it is. The rivalry of Minnesota will never end between these two. I'll say that much. But congratulations to you, Peach. $11,600 all in cash so far. We're going to see if he can drive away in that brand new vehicle as he takes on Caesar's Challenge in a moment right after this commercial break. Stay with us. Welcome back to Caesars Challenge here with our new champion, Equals Peach here. He so far has won himself $11,600 in cash. In a moment, he's going to face off against Caesars Challenge for a shot at that brand new BMW 2 Series worth $38,000. All right, Peach, you know how this works. In a moment, we'll start up our giant tumbler, and we're going to start sending the letter balls down the ramp one at a time. As soon as Caesar sees a nine-letter word, he's going to yell out, Stop! And we'll drop the letters on the board in place one at a time in the order that they came down the ramp. Uh, you'll then drop in your bonus letters. You'll have 10 seconds to think about it. And then we'll come to you for your answer. If you can give me the final word before the buzzer goes off, you will drive out of here in that brand new car. Okay? All right. All right. Well, in order to determine how many bonus letters you get, you need to pick one of the letters in the word Caesars. Take a look at the board. Up there on behind those letters, we have numbers ranging from 1 to 5. Choose a letter, and that's how many bonus letters you're going to get. Well, <clears throat> since this is my first win, I'm going to go with the first letter, C. All right. Behind the C, we find... A five! Oh, my goodness. Well, I believe you might be the first one this season to pull off the big five. There it is. Let's take a look at all the rest of them up there. Look, I'm, wow. I'm mad at the straight on the board there. <laughs> Just <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. Well, Peach, I might as well just go ahead and go grab the keys here because I think whatever the word might be, you've got you've got this one solved. So you get to drop in five bonus letters. Let's see how well you do if he's going to drive away in that new car. Start up the tumbler, Seamus, and let's begin Caesar's Challenge. Well, I sure hope so. He just give me a couple of nails. He's not going to make this word easy, I can't imagine. We, we shall see. Just hopefully the random letter generator will be very nice to you in that tumbler there. We'll see. I worry already with the fact that there are two X's up there, but... No kidding. And a Q now. And a Z. Okay. Caesar has found himself a nine-letter word. So let's put him... Put the letters on the board in the order they came out of the tumbler. Here they are. D. M. O. A. L. E. Y. R. And C. Interesting. All right. There's the letters there. You have five of them to drop into place. Which letters oh, would you goodness. like? Okay, we'll start with the D. Okay, it's one. The M. Two. O. Three. Y. Four. Y. One and more. C. And the C. All right, let's drop those into place. All right, and your 10 seconds to think about it starts now. All right, Peach, for a new car, what's the word? Comradely. Comradely is correct. You got a new car. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, that was right. I don't think. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Well done. Congratulations. That brand new BMW 2 is yours. Well done, sir. We're going to take a quick commercial break, add up all of Peach's winnings, come back to him his final total right after this. Stay with us. Good job. Oh, thank you, Brandon. Welcome back to Caesars Challenge here with our new champion, Equals Peach, who's just won himself a brand new car, that beautiful BMW 2 Series there. And Peach, once we've added all that up to your winnings, you and one game, sir, have a grand total now of $49,600. Well done. Congratulations to you. You know, that, that puzzle felt pretty good being able to get it. Well, uh, uh, the big help there is the fact that you you found the five and took full advantage of it for sure there. So well done to you. Congratulations. No kidding. Thank you, Brandon. And the best part about it is, too, you get to come back next time and defend that crown once again as you try to make to your strive for five for the season. Will Peach be our second retiree? Who knows? We'll have to see in the episodes to come. But for right now, folks, we're all out of time for this episode of Caesar's Challenge. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, Check out the full playlist here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe to see other great game shows of the past, present, and future, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the letters start up once again and we try to give away another brand new car, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, for all of us here saying thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for more Caesars Challenge. Until then, here's some words for you to try to solve at home. And see you next time. So long, folks. This is your announcer, Michael Gentry, speaking for Caesars Challenge, an SBC Game Show's presentation in association with MBG Productions.